All the top tech stories that you need to know today. Starting with Taylor Swift, everybody's favorite. Taylor Swift has made a very timely return to TikTok, overcoming a licensing dispute between Universal Music Group and the app, which had previously left her and other artists without this essential promotional platform. Her comeback is aligning with her new album launch, and it just underscores her capacity to take control in pivotal moments. Richard Armstrong is saying that he is back in the habit of reading news again, which has led him to seeing that there's barely any weeks where there isn't a mention of an EV company like Vinfast, for example, in the news. It's true, electric vehicles are on the rise, and they are gaining more and more momentum. For more on that, read Richard Armstrong's article. Marks Brownlee, also known as MKBHD, sparked controversy with his critical review of Humane AI's AI Pin and Fisker's Ocean EV. His candid feedback attracted millions of views but also led to debates about the influence of popular reviewers on consumer opinions. While some have accused him of sensationalization that could harm companies financially, others have praised his honesty as vital in an industry that's often filled with exaggerated promises. An Indonesian biotech seems to be on the rise with Path Gen Diagnostic Technology. It's a biotech startup that just received funding from East Ventures and Royal Group Indonesia to enhance the development of affordable and accessible cancer diagnostic tools. The initiative definitely addresses a healthcare gap, as currently only 18% of healthcare facilities in Indonesia can conduct molecular cancer testing. The Paths Gen's mission is to increase accessibility by providing easy-to-use PCR-based genetic testing kits for several types of cancer, including collateral, lung, cervical, and nasopharyngeal cancers. Google's up to some sneaky business. It's been secretly integrating AI-generated answers into search queries, introducing a new phrase in user interaction with the search engine. The feature is still in its rollout phase, and it's only accessible to a limited percentage of audiences in the US and UK. Unlike the more publicized launches of similar AI tools like ChatGPT, Google has actually opted for a very low-key approach to its introduction of AI in its search results. Whereas on the other hand, Meta has actually fully integrated its AI chatbot built on the Llama 3 language model into the search functionalities of Facebook Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp, making it actually widely accessible across several countries. I don't know about you guys, but I've seen this on my own Instagram app as well. The AI assistant not only enhances search capabilities, but also supports web searches, rapid image generation, GIF creation, and real-time image editing, showcasing its multitasking capabilities. I haven't had the chance to explore it in such detail as yet, but frankly, just first thoughts right here. On Instagram, I find it very annoying when I'm searching for something basic. It just ends up giving me all sorts of extra stuff that I don't need. What do you guys think? And according to the Wall Street Journal, Apple has actually removed meta-owned apps, WhatsApp, and threads from its app store in China. This action is in compliance with the 2023 Chinese law law that's requiring the deletion of unregistered or outdated apps from iOS and Android app stores. The removal comes amid escalating US-China tensions concerning technology, including disputes over semiconductor supplies and the possible US ban on TikTok. Apple has stated that it is adhering to local regulations following directives from China's internet regulator. And finally, Anthony Mancino is revealing that he has successfully pre-sold over $1 million in products often before they were even created. He is sharing three crucial lessons from his experiences at Escape Climbing. To read the rest of the article, go visit our website. Thanks so much for watching today's top tech news. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or give us a follow on TikTok if you want more like this.